What's up everybody? Welcome back and to the channel. So I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas. I know we did. We had a great time spending some time with family and friends and we really just had a great Christmas, which I gotta say was much better than last Christmas because if any of you remember last Christmas, I was sick with COVID. My whole family was sick with COVID. So we really didn't get to enjoy Christmas and New Year's last year that much, but this year we had a great Christmas and we're looking forward to a great New Year. So what we're gonna be doing today is part two of the crash bar install because a few days ago, I installed the front crash bars with the highway pegs. So today we're gonna to do the rear crash bars that actually protect your saddlebags a little bit better. So without further ado, let's jump in and let's get this install going. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. I had to hurry up and close the garage door because Typically in the early afternoon, the sun is like right over here and it just blinds everything in here when it comes to shooting videos. So I went ahead and shut the garage door, but there's plenty of light in here to do what we gotta do. So over here is my little pile of modifications of things I got going on here. Move all this stuff out the way. Okay, this is what we're going for right here. Okay, open this up here. And this is gonna be the crash bars. Okay, so we're gonna have a couple different pieces here. This really shouldn't be that crazy to install. It's gonna consist of literally two parts and a few bolts. So you're gonna have the main part here that goes in front of your saddlebag. And then you're gonna have the bar that goes underneath your saddlebag that connects the front bar to the frame. So let me go ahead and get these unwrapped all the way and I'll show you what they look like up close. Okay, here we go. So if we take a closer look, again, it's gonna consist of two parts per side. You're gonna have your main front crash bar here that covers the front of your bag right here. And then this little wing right here goes below. This bracket here actually mounts into that and there's your clamp at the end that clamps to the back part of your frame. Okay, so there's gonna be two pieces for the left side, two pieces for the right side. It does come with two new clamps, which I do recommend just replacing, and it has a couple of these rubber stoppers, and it has the main bolts here that you put in right here where the two pieces connect at the bottom. So before we start getting that installed, what we have to do is get the seat off and get the saddlebags off. So let me go ahead and start working on that. It's very simple. Obviously, if you have a back release, it's a quick release, pull the tabs, pop it off, pull the screw out for your seat, take your whole seat assembly off. When you open up your saddlebags, you got your two main pieces here. You're gonna take off. Let me go ahead and start working on this, getting those couple pieces taken off, and we'll be right back here in a minute. Okay, so we are back. We got the seat off we got the saddlebags off and we took off the side fairing as well just in case so typically you're going to be using this bolt right here on both sides and then there's going to be a bolt down below and then we have to take off this bracket here which is the old factory bracket that goes underneath the saddlebag so we got to take that off so looks like it's pretty much only held by two bolts take those two brackets off uh, looks like this is already slid off right here. I gotta get that off. Take that bolt off there and we'll take this off. So let's just tackle one side at a time. Let me get this bracket off and then we'll start installing the new bracket. I'll be right back in a minute. Okay, just to give you a quick little update. So I went ahead and took the two main bolts out. They're gonna look like this, okay? And they do have two different sizes. The larger one, I believe is a T45 for the larger bolt. The smaller one, I believe, is a T40, okay? That took those out, and then the run up front is also a T45. Then I just took a small socket using uh, like a little 13 mil and took the two bolts off of this bracket right here, okay? And it looks like this. Now, obviously, Somewhere from the last buyer, that rubber bushing slid off. So good thing I caught that because that kind of keeps a lot of the noise vibration 
from vibrating off the back. So let me go ahead and get this last bolt out and then we can start actually installing the saddlebag crash bar. I'll be right back. Okay, we are back and I got the main bar bracketed in. I just put the bolt back on top just like that with a little blue Loctite, follow it down to that bolt, blue Loctite, followed it down to here. Now I added two washers just because the bolt and the nut were just, they just seemed a little too small for the hole that was drilled. So just out of precaution, I added two small washers on either side, little blue Loctite, got that tightened down right there, down the back, got the two original bolts back in, blue Loctite, all's good to go. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get a, a clean rag, wipe off the exhaust a little bit. These are actually pretty nice, by the way. Came with the bike, but it looks like a nice four inch exhaust and they sound good. So what we gotta do next is, okay, so right here is your main bracket. What we need to do is take this piece here, slide it through the rubber seal, like so, if I can kind of get in there. You can always use a little bit of grease. So you put it through like that, and then you're gonna slide this into the actual brace right here, like this. Okay, you're gonna slide it all the way through, get it mounted, and you're just gonna bolt it back down. And I actually think when you put it through, it goes in with the, because you can see it like this, it faces down, you want that facing up like that. It just kind of goes in, you just gotta get it in through this gasket right here, bolt it back down. So let me go do that and I'll be right back in a minute. Okay, we are done. We got the front crash bar installed. Everything's blue Loctited at the top nut right there. The bottom nut, got the bolt here with some washers, blue Loctite. Got the back bracket installed. Everything's blue Loctited, nice and neat. I was able to wipe down the exhaust, a couple things over here since the saddlebags are off and it's easier to get to now. So this side is completely done. I found what was a little easier to get this bushing through was I slid the bracket through the bushing first. And then I just took a tiny, tiny bit of grease on my finger and just gently went all the way around it, just real, real light, not heavy, just to allow me to slide the bracket within this bushing through the bracket. Once I was able to wiggle it in place, bolted everything down, everything's good to go. Now again, everything was just lightly hand tightened at first, just to allow some flexibility. Then once I got this bolt in, lightly tightened, I was able to line this up to the back, get my bolts in, everything was lined up. Once everything was lined up, I went back through and tightened everything down real good, put my bolts in, everything's tight, rocking and rolling. That's what it's gonna look like. So next, I'm gonna to go to the opposite side, do everything just like this. Once I get done with that, we'll be right back. Okay, so we are now done with this side. So again, everything's bolted in, blue Loctited. Got this one blue Loctited and bolted in. Got that bolt there, blue Loctited in. Got those bolts there, blue Loctited in. Got the actual bushing and bracket installed just like that. Everything's bolted down, blue Loctite it in. So everything's done, we are all good to go. Now, I just gotta go ahead back in, put my saddlebags back on, put everything back on, and we'll be right back to show you what the final product looks like. Okay, we are done. The bike is done, the bike is put back together. Here's what it looks like up close. Got the black saddlebag crash bar installed comes up underneath, everything's mounted, everything's nice and tight. That's basically what it looks like. Take a look at the other side. There you go there. That's what it looks like. Now I have much better protection for my saddlebags. If this bike would ever happen to fall over, it actually sticks out just past the saddlebag, as you can see here. So if it's whatever tip, I'll have much better coverage. Everything's mounted on real nice, nice and tight. I mean, this ain't going anywhere. Now, when me and my wife go for rides, I could even get one of those cup holder attachments that actually just clamps onto there, and then she'll have a cup holder. 
So yeah, the build's coming along pretty good. Really happy with it. And again, this saddlebag crash bar was very inexpensive. I will put the link in the description. I got it off eBay, probably a fraction of what I would have paid if I went through Harley. So again, very, very easy install to do yourself. Save yourself a ton of money and just do it yourself. Go buy one of these online. I'll put the link in the description of where I got mine. Super easy and simple. And now I have even further protection for my bike. So there you have it. That's how easy it is to install the rear crash bars for your saddlebags on a touring Harley Davidson. Again, this is a 2016 Street Glide Special. I had this done in probably less than an hour. So again, very simple and easy to install. It does have a great benefit. It does add additional protection to your bike in case of an accidental drop over. So my initial impressions of this eBay rear saddlebag crash bar, I give it a thumbs up, I give it a go. I think it's a great value. It was a very low cost, very easy to install, but has a great benefit. That's what I'm all about. So that's it for today's video. Do me a favor, like this video, hit that thumbs up button. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments section and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. And do me a favor, subscribe to the channel because it definitely helps me out and I greatly appreciate it. So that's it. I just wanna say thank you to each and every one of you. Thank you, I truly appreciate you all. And as always, see you in the next video.